We just need one moment. I got a notification this morning that I got a package in the mail and I wasn't expecting anything, like literally nothing. I'm like, hmm, sometimes I get them, it's not even for me, whatever, but it said my name and I'm like, this is weird. So I couldn't go because I was at school, it's now like six, and I get home and I go straight to the mailbox. I honestly thought I would forget and I get this package, it's in a thing like this, so I'm like, that's really weird. I was like kind of making me nervous. I couldn't figure out from the thing what, what it was, but it was like kind of padded. And so I open it right away. I can't. If you know, you freaking know. I'm like, no, literally no. So last week, well, it's been a long time in the making, but my mom and I have been pining after Baccarat Rouge 540, the perfume, and it's like a high-end perfume that isn't even in stores for you to smell. So like we've gone to Nordstrom, we've gone to Saks Fifth Avenue, Neiman Marcus, like all these places to smell this perfume and they don't even have samples to smell in the store. So my mom made an appointment at Saks Fifth Avenue, I think, yeah with their perfumer to go and smell it just like we're crazy so we just wanted to smell it literally just smell it and so she went and smelled it and they sprayed it on a card and last when i was home for spring break i smelled it and we were like wow that's really good so then she had an appointment the next week to go and see if they had like samples or anything like that so she goes and i called her and i'm like how was it and she's like oh it's fine didn't really say anything I get this in the mail. Literally what? So I, of course, open it immediately. Two little rollers or spray, I guess. They are 11 milliliters. They're like the refills. Baccarat Rouge 540. I am screaming. First of all, how did she even surprise me? How? But my day is made. Yeah, so that was my three minute rant about Baccarat Rouge 540 and it smells amazing, just it's worth the hype. So go get it, seriously, my mom's the best. Okay, as promised, even though I look like a straight box, <laughs> here is the new set. I'm first showing you the shirt. <laughs> Um, we love it. It's like, um, like I was saying before, like earthy tones. And here's the sweats. We have this cute little, it says Billabong. Cute, cozy, comfy. Yeah, this angle is awful for me. But anyway, you get the point. So cute, cozy, and comfy. And now I'm going to put on the sweatshirt. Here is the sweatshirt. It's so wrinkly because I literally can't take it off. But like... Aren't I giving, like, I'm so cozy, my life is put together, like, I'm matching, it's like this creamy color with the cute, um, whatever you call it, <laughs> insignia, like, I'm so comfy, I'm ready to lay in my bed and read, but I look put together, and I love that for me, because you can never have too many sets, right? Like. This video isn't even doing it justice, but you get the point, right? We're gonna try from this angle. Okay, see, like if I back up, <laughs> you don't get the point, but let's just talk about how great this whole set is and like vibey. See, like I could be a Tumblr girl, right? Definitely not. <laughs> Maybe if I could hold this. But it is sending comfy, cozy, I'm gonna lay in my bed for the next three hours and read vibes, right? Because that's what I'm gonna do. Also, the update is 
I really turned on the camera today because I'm gonna take you through a hair wash day in my life. So, it is in this like slicked bun moment currently because it is so unbelievably greasy and disgusting. So, I've said this before, but my routine is I wash my hair on Thursdays and that's it. So, today's Thursday. I'm gonna be washing my hair and styling it for the next week. So, I just wanted to give you guys a good before view. And when I actually do shower, I will take out this bun and show you what it looks like because it looks heinous. But this channel is all about being real. So, here is my hair on day seven. I have not washed it since last Thursday morning, so it's gross, but I'm going to give you an in-depth how I only wash my hair once a week deal. And it's not, I, I keep saying gross, but I don't find it gross at all. My hair has actually never been healthier or looked better, more shiny, more soft. Um, definitely has to do with my routine. So yeah, I wash my hair once a week on Thursdays and I'm going to take you along um, my hair wash routine today. Okay, so I just turned on my shower, but this is my hair after I just took it out of that bun. Okay, I mean, it doesn't look horrible, but you can tell it needs to be washed. And the dry shampoo, it's like, it like stays in its place, right? So it's definitely time for a wash, but like overall not bad. And I could have gone one more day with like a slicked bun if I want, but I want to get it clean for tomorrow. So yeah, this is when I take it out of my bun, which I just did get a haircut and it looks really nice. So yeah, this is before I wash it. So the first thing that I do once I get in the shower is just get my hair completely wet, kind of run my fingers through it to make sure every part of it is completely damp and then I take the Aussie Miracle Curl shampoo and conditioner just from Target and I just massage the shampoo through my hair with my hands like just on the roots of my hair I don't really touch the ends with the with the shampoo just because by the time the water runs through it it ends up washing through the bottom anyway and it's not like super necessary to wash that part of your hair so just scrub it into my scalp and once I feel like it's spread out evenly then I take the black and purple hair scalp massager thingy I will link that down below I just got it on Amazon I think it was like literally only two or three dollars and came in a pack of two but it's honestly what I feel like the most important tool is for my hair to keep it clean for an entire week so I just scrub that throughout my scalp for about like one to two minutes like all over in a circular motion and this just helps like remove the oils and any excess dry shampoo, any buildup residue that's on my root surface and just scrub it around. It helps spread the shampoo evenly and honestly it just like gives a nice overall massage to my head. So I just do this for like one to two minutes until I feel like I've scrubbed every square inch of my head with the scrubber. So nice. Then I go in with the Miracle Curls Aussie Conditioner and I just put that on the ends of my hair and kind of just like run my fingers through my hair with the conditioner and then I take a wet brush which is just in my shower and I brush it through the ends to make sure the conditioner has gotten through and this is really the only time I brush my hair right directly in the shower unless I'm straightening it so I just give it a good brush to make sure the conditioner is all the way through then I rinse it out really well and kind of squeeze dry my hair a bit and then I use the Virtue hair mask and that's the blue tub in the picture and I just like place this all over like roots, ends, everything. It's a repair and restore hair mask and I'm obsessed with it and I just leave that in for like five or so minutes. I think you can do two to five minutes. I kind of just like wrap it up in a bun with a ponytail and leave it in for like five minutes and then while I'm waiting I just like wash my face wash my body, everything else while it's setting in. And then you just rinse it through with like medium temperature water, nothing too hot, nothing too cold. I just run my fingers through it one more time to make sure it's like completely out. And that's basically what I do. And then once I get out, I use the hair cloth towel, like the 
microfiber towel to like prevent like breakage and stuff like that and let my hair just air dry and towel dry for a little bit before then I style it but yeah this whole thing takes me about maybe 15 minutes total by the time you let the stuff the hair mask sit in your hair for about five minutes so it's really no big deal and it's pretty fast and I'm efficient at this point but yeah I've been sticking with these two shampoo and conditioner no for no particular reason honestly I just get it at Target it's pretty cheap and I feel like it works very well so I just stick with what works and I know that this like won't be the case for everyone but I just find that this is what works best for me and it keeps my hair clean and healthy for an entire week so this is my shower portion routine of my hair wash day okay short update I look crazy but the next thing after I do is put it up in this towel which it's like soaked right now but put it up in this towel for like an hour maybe like let it be damp and then I take it out and let it continue to air dry and when it's like 50% dry better when it's like 75% basically almost dry then I use the um, roller brush heat what's it called brush blow dryer to like make it not make it sort of straight but mostly not frizzy and then I just like run a flat iron through it in the morning but yeah it's really late I did this really late so it's like almost 10 and so I'm gonna have to wait a while but I'm just gonna read but my short interjection is I just got new sheets and they're white <laughs> everything's white and I just put on a lot of self tanner and it's gonna make my sheets like brown so everyone's set up a quick prayer for me I think I'm gonna have to wear a long sleeve shirt and pants to bed which does not sound great or maybe I'll just sleep on top of the blanket tonight I don't know let me know what you think below if you sleep with self tanner and have white sheets and a white comforter because your girl is struggling and I know I need to try the Isle of Paradise drops that you put in your moisturizer because it's clear but I'm afraid like at least with the foamy brown you can see where you've already done but with the clear that's like really risky that you're gonna mess it up but I don't I want to keep my white sheets white so asking for a friend please send help on that one but that is my short interjection while I wait for my hair to dry so I just took my hair out of that towel and normally I would let it dry just a little bit more before starting to blow dry it but it's now 11 30 and I am exhausted so I need to dry it so I can go to sleep but yeah so just brushing it through once. I mean, you can tell it's starting to dry at the ends, but yeah, I'm going to use my blow dryer brush and I'm just gonna not record it to save you from the boringness of doing this. But yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when I am done. So this was a super messy go at it, but you get the point. It is just like soft and not super crazy frizzy. It's not great. And, but I'm gonna sleep on it anyway. And I like doing it um, just to get like a good base. And then in the morning I can run a flat iron through it or whatever I want to do to style it for the day. But just so much better than going to sleep with it um, wet because then there's no saving it. Once it's like really curly and even worse, like curly from sleeping on it. Um, this is just the go at it with the um, blow dryer brush. It's my saving grace and I could totally wear it like this, but I prefer to run a straightener through it too. But yeah, that is my hair routine. And yeah, it'll be good for like minimum four or five days before I even need to get it wet. And then when I do decide to get it wet or whatever, I just use dry shampoo. So if you have any dry shampoo recommendations, please drop them down below always in the market for a good dry shampoo and I'm willing to try basically anything but yeah so today's Thursday washed it did all of this 
I will put in some dry shampoo Saturday night and Sunday night, just like in the roots and anywhere that it's looking greasy to like pre-combat the when it gets greasy, when it starts to get greasy. And then I'll be able to make it until like sometime next week after like a workout where I feel like I'm really sweaty, I get it wet. And then I just use conditioner, um, but I don't use shampoo again in it and scrub my head and all of that until Thursday. So I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about my hair routine, please let me know. Okay, I've been watching so much YouTube while getting ready, so I haven't been able to update you, but I told you I would take you along this week of my hair journey. I probably should run a strainer through it. I'm just feeling lazy, but I just put in some dry shampoo um, because it was starting to look like a little stringy. I don't know how to describe it, but it's Saturday afternoon evening. So it's been since Thursday, Friday, Saturday, three days. Today's the third day of this hair. So I put in some dry shampoo and I'm just gonna like let it absorb into my hair for maybe like a half hour or so until I have to go and then just like brush through it like um so yeah it looks like a little gray white <laughs> I love the sound of like anyway the current dry shampoo I'm using is not your mother's clean freak original fragrance dry shampoo um I probably use half the bottle so far it's good um before that I was using this purple chia seed one i can't remember and i really liked that one but this i'm just trying something new anyway yeah so this is the update i'll brush it out in a little bit but i'm just letting it yeah and i probably should straighten because like what is i don't know it kind of looks cute but yeah this is the second day in a row i've done my makeup we're not in the area of good lighting, but I decided to do my makeup out here today. With the sun behind me, it's not giving good vibes right now, but I even did some like eyeshadow. Sophia, when you watch this, I attempted to do some eyeshadow, so I'm quite proud of myself. And I did my nails. My mom bought me these little stickers for my birthday, so I put two little stars on with this blue. It's very springy. Um, I just sprayed my perfume. It smells so good. Um, yeah, wearing my David Yerman bracelet. Just have some basic hoops in. Oh, speaking of that, I need to put an earring in my tragus, but yeah, just some gold hoops, my diamond earrings, the side gold hoops, and then my Kate Spade gold hoops, one that has an A on it. I'm thinking about getting my fourth piercing, like earlobe piercing on this ear. I don't know. Hang on, let me put in my trachis. I guess we'll look. Because on this ear, I have five like that, just like one space there. And I like the space, but over here, I just have this high up one. So I feel like I could do one more. I don't know. I'm like in that phase of my life where like I kind of want another piercing. Comment down below if you know what that's like. I guess little thing. I've just been using nose rings um, because before it got stuck in my ear and I couldn't unscrew it and it started getting swollen into my face. I had to use like tweezers and pliers. It was quite an adventure. So now I just use nose rings and like bend them through. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay, cute. So what do we think about like one more little stud there. I'm thinking that that will be good. I don't know. It's a fever dream idea right now. We'll see if I actually execute, but I want to give you an update on my hair. See, it's already like soaking in. I don't know if you can see it. So yeah, I'll just brush it out in a little bit.